At a recent day of reflection for teens at the cathedral, the youths and their parents received teaching from Pope John Paul II's Theology of the Body. This teaching, so consonant with Eastern Christian theology, helps us to understand how God reveals himself to humankind through their human nature. Male and female he created them, from the book of Genesis. Each incomplete in themselves, in marriage humans may come to know a love that reflects the very being of God. Love is of God. God is love. We have come to use the word love with so many relationships. We love our parents, our siblings, our friends, as well as pets and things. These loves differ more than just in degree. Many of us are satisfied with a love of mutual satisfaction and never know the deepest level of love. Only the relationship of husband-wife and celibacy for the kingdom are designed to know that love. The presence of married priests in the Eastern churches has caused some to question the church's attitude toward celibacy. Pope John Paul treats this very well. Celibacy is a gift from God that builds on the vocation to marriage. The celibate witnesses to a total gift of self to God, a necessary part of the vocation to marriage, but so often overlooked. The married witness to the nuptial character of God's relationship with humanity. St. Paul calls the church the body of Christ. All love must be understood in this relationship. In the epistle read at weddings, we hear, Love your wife as Christ loved the church. This self-sacrificial love, represented today by the image of the Holy Cross, must be our way to love. This is how Jesus taught us to relate to our enemies. He doesn't say that we necessarily have to consider them friends to love them, but rather while they are enemies. The love God intends for us is so much more than that proposed by many of modern society. God wants us to know the fullness of love. He wants us to reflect in our relationship with each other the love he has for his body, the holy communion of his people. Let us pray that our young and not so young, let us pray that our young and not so young, reject the short-lived and superficial loves in favor of participating in the nuptial love God has for us.